Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is your brother Kazak Yah, once again with another teaching. We want to deal with the subject of Jesus versus Yahshua. Jesus versus Yahshua. We're going to do a comparative uh, study with regards to Jesus versus Yahshua. Okay, now let's deal with this subject. Jesus, brothers and sisters, was born on December the 25th. And he is a baby every year when December 25th comes around. Yahshua, on the other hand's birth date was not given in the scriptures. And no one ever celebrated his birthday in the scriptures. You won't find it in the scriptures. No one celebrated his birthday. The second point I want to make with regards to Jesus versus Yahshua is that Jesus was born in the dead, cold winter. He had a little drummer boy at his birth scene. Jesus also had three wise men at his birth scene. And the three wise men at Jesus' birth scene brought three presents. Okay? Yahshua was possibly born in the fall, in the early fall, at the time of the Feast of Tabernacles, when the shepherds were keeping their flock. However, no date was given in the scripture for his birthday. There was no drummer boy, and there, the number three with regards to the wise men was not mentioned in scripture. Yahshua, at his birth, there was only three. There was Yosef, his father, his earthly father, Miriam, who you call Mary, and the shepherds. Now let's look at Luke chapter 4, Luke chapter 2, verse 6 through 15. And it reads, Luke chapter 2, verse 6 through 15. And it reads, and so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Now, shepherds do not keep their flocks by night in the dead cold winter, December 25th, brothers and sisters. And lo, the angel of Yah came upon them, and the glory of Yah shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of Dawid a Savior, which is the Messiah, the Master. And this shall be a sign unto you, you shall find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with them the angels, the multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising Yah, and saying, Glory to Yah in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. And it came to pass, as the angels were going away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even into Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass, which Yah had made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary, or Miriam, Yosef, and the babe laying in the manger. So now, in the scripture, we find only Yosef, the father, the earthly father, and Miriam, and the shepherds and the angels or the Malachim, the messengers, gave the message to them. Now, let's also, uh, I want to point out the third point is that the wise men were present at Jesus' birthday. Every year on Christmas, you see Jesus with the wise men at the manger scene. All right. When they found Yahshua, on the other hand, he was a young, 
child, not a newborn babe in a manger, as you see every year on the Hallmark cards and the nativity scenes with the wise men sitting at the scene. Now, go with me to Matthew's or Matif Yahoo chapter 2, verse 9 through 11. Matif Yahoo or Matthew's chapter 2, verse 9 through 11. And it reads, Matif Yahoo chapter 2, verse 9 through 11. And it reads, And they had heard the king departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were coming to the house, they saw the young child with Miriam, his mother, and fell down and worshiped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, plural with the S, Gold, frankincense, and mirth. Now it didn't say three gifts. It said gifts of the type of frankincense, myrrh, and gold. Okay? It wasn't three gifts, but three of the three types, which means it could have been a multiplicity of gifts of those three types. Abundance, if you will. All right, now, Jesus, brothers and sisters, was a European. He had a halo around his head. He looked like a hippie. If you look at the pictures, you'll see this man who looks like a hippie with stringy hair, blonde hair, if you will, and blue eyes. But Yahshua, on the other hand, fled into Egypt and hung among the dark Egyptians and had hair like wool. And he was a Nazarite with locks in his hair. His hair, his arms, and his feet were as polished brass, which means that it was the color of a penny. His arms and his feet. Now, let's look at Matthew chapter 2, verse 13. Verse 13 says, And when they were departed, behold, the angel of Yah appeared to Yosef in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child, there it is again, and his mother, and flee into Egypt. And be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. So you see that? So now we find that Yahshua goes and escapes into Egypt to hide amongst the dark-skinned Egyptians. Now, you answer me this question, brothers and sisters. You say color doesn't matter, okay? Telling a lie is a big, is a big issue because you're telling me that the Messiah was white, but he, he hid amongst the Egyptians from Herod. If he was white, and he went amongst the Egyptians, he would have got caught because he would have stuck out like a sore thumb in the midst of a dark complected Egyptian or Mizraimites. So Yeshua hid amongst the Egyptians with his mother and father from Herod. 